It's been an eventful year for Generali, Italy's biggest insurer, with a series of changes in the top team, a refreshed strategy and takeover interest from Intesa San Paolo, Italy's biggest bank. Now, a year since he became chief executive, I'm joined by Generali's Philippe Donnet to talk about the challenges facing the company and the industry. Philippe, it's been a very busy year for Generali. Has that distracted the company from the core business of selling insurance? No, absolutely not. It has been a, a very challenging year, but it also has been a very exciting year. We've been uh, very focused on uh, implementing our strategic plan, which was announced uh, last year in November in, the, in this city, in London. And the 2016 results are the evidence that uh, we have not been distracted, that we have been very focused on uh, the execution of our plan because our uh, results are great and uh, fully in line with our targets. Now, alongside the results, you announced uh, an acceleration of some of the, the cost savings that, that you promised they're going to be delivered a, a year earlier, but no increase in the cost savings target. Did you consider making extra savings on top of what you had already promised? Well, as, uh, as you know, we were very successful in, uh, in the implementation of our cost savings uh, programs in 2016 because we reached a net cost reduction of 70 million. Um, obviously, this is the reason why we uh, th are very confident that we can anticipate and uh, reach uh, our target of 200 million cost uh, reduction one year earlier, uh, which means by the end of 2018 instead of 2019. We will announce later, next year, we will, uh, when we will announce our new plan, we will announce what we will do in 2018 about, about cuts. But I think that definitely uh, to, be able to, reach, uh, to be able to reach our target uh, with uh, one year uh, in advance is, uh, is a great news. Another part of the strategy that you talked about in November was uh, trimming down a little some of your non-core operations. Um, how was progress on those disposals? It's uh, progressing very well. As you know, we said that we would uh, sell between 12 and 15 uh, small and medium uh, insurance companies in markets that uh, we consider less attractive or less in line with our strategy. Uh, we uh, started uh, competitive uh, sale processes for each of uh, these, uh, these assets and uh, it's progressing well because we have uh, uh, interest and appetite for, for these assets. So I'm very confident that we will uh, uh, reach our target of 1 billion proceeds uh, for, uh, for these uh, assets and we will uh, probably uh, complete the disposal in a reasonable uh, range of time. Now, it's been a, a challenging period for insurance companies with interest rates very low, although rates are rising in the US, they're still very low in Europe. How do you as a company and the industry more broadly respond to very low interest rates? Well, I, I think that uh, the plan we disclosed uh, uh, last November and that in fact we started implementing uh, one year ago when I was appointed is definitely the right uh, response to this uh, very low uh, interest rate environment. As you know, I spent a few years in Japan, uh, so I'm quite uh, trained in managing insurance company in such an environment. I think the response is very simple, uh, low costs, uh, low uh, loss ratio, and solid uh, technical margins on, on the life business. This is exactly what we are implementing. As you know, we have the lowest expense ratio of the industry, we have the lowest combined ratio of the, of the industry, and we have very solid uh, life technical uh, margins. We are improving significantly the quality of our life business. Our uh, new business value uh, in 2016 has been growing by almost 15%. Our new business margin has been growing by almost uh, five points. So this is the right uh, response to the low interest rates. And finally, one of the big challenges facing the industry is technological change. Is Generali ready for that challenge? Absolutely. Uh, it's one of our six uh, strategic uh, initiatives, innovation, digitalization. Uh, what does it mean for us? Digital for us doesn't mean direct. We have. Uh, 
a very good direct business in Italy, for example, in Germany with Cosmos uh, uh, Direct. Uh, but for us, digital is a great way to completely transform the customer experience. And this is what we are doing. Uh, we are making our salespeople, our agents, digital. One final question for you. The bit interest from Intesa has, has gone away now. Are you, are you pleased that that's gone away and that's off the agenda? Yes, of course, I, I'm pleased it's, uh, it's gone away because I, I always thought and I'm still thinking that uh, uh, the best way for us um, as generally to create value for our shareholders is to uh, remain uh, independent, uh, Italian and international. Philippe Tonnet, thank you very much. Thank you to you.